Oh, we're going back in time here a little bit, talking about a scenario that happened back at one of the St. Patrick's parades and the guys with the answers from a legal standpoint are attorneys Greg Fellerman and Harry McGrath, who is here for Ed. What's Welcome. going on, Dave? Well, good to see you guys. And it's also uh, an interesting question here. So what happens? Uh, Parting a little bit too much here for Jack and Scranton. He says, look, I was at the uh, St. Patrick's parade. I was cited for an open container violation. Now I'm worried this will be on my criminal record forever. Is there anything that I can do to avoid this? Uh, Harry, is Jack set for life with this charge? Well, no, Jack. And the first thing that you should do in a situation like this, especially with a minor criminal matter, is get in touch with the lawyer. Uh, time is of the essence with these things. I'm sure that on that citation, there's probably already a court date. Uh, you need to get with a competent attorney who's going to be able to take steps to um, allow you to enter a program where this offense is ultimately going to be expunged. It's not going to happen overnight, but if you do your due diligence and you follow through with the steps that the court orders, then uh, it's very likely that this minor offense could be removed from your record as time goes on. And, and what you see is like in these situations, because uh, it, it's a summary offense, so the district judges in your jurisdiction have programs in place that allow you to again if you go in with an attorney you ask can we do some sort of disposition it's almost like the ARD program in the county courts but some judges do this so the you know again I don't know your age but at the end of the day you really don't want this on your record or being able to be searched so if it can be disposed of in a non-criminal manner it's not the worst thing again um, you don't want to keep doing this and because you really most district judges will only allow you to do one. So, I mean, there, it sounds like there are some alternatives for them. Well, I know that uh, when people get in these situations, you often recommend to get a good attorney, and I know you work with a lot of great people that you could refer them to. Sure, absolutely. So just give us a call, 570-714-HURT. Um, See us on the web, 714-HURT.com, and you know, try to use a little more common sense at the parade. Harry's a veteran of those parades, and he has <laughs> none of those on his record. He's a good man. Nope. <laughs> Results matter with the attorneys Greg Fellerman and good boy Harry McGrath. Good to see you guys and don't forget PAHomepage.com and the Law New Hotline are always there for you. <laughs>